Hey guys, I'm George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reacting to GOT7 Last Piece. Piece? <laughs> GOT7 Last Piece. I did previously react to the pre released Breath. I'll leave that link in the description box for you to go watch after this video. Before we get into it, I do want to shout out this comment from Yuk Kim. This comment absolutely killed me. In my last video reacting to Kai M. Mm, <laughs> I said that next time you see a video from me, I would have copied that beautiful wavy hairstyle gel down onto his face. And Yutkin was like, girl, I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna watch for your hairstyle in the next video. I was cracked up. So Yutkin, thank you so much for your comment. It literally put the biggest smile on my face. And I'm sorry if you're watching this. I've let you down. If you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more K-pop reactions, please do hit that subscribe button. I am really excited for this video. When I filmed Breath, I didn't realize it was the pre-release and I didn't realize that was gonna be a main release. And I said I was disappointed, dancing, all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to be proven wrong. <laughs> We're already doing the outfits. We love an embellishment here. Okay, I get it. It's like the same set as the last one. I see you boys. I fucking love these outfits. Like the hat and all the embellishment on that sweater. I'm not really a fan of my jacket, I'm sorry. He's got red hair now. Okay, this is the choreo I wanted, right? Like, this is living up to what I wanted. Boys. I'm really enjoying the song as well, I've not had the song before. Give me the dance This white suit is my favourite look so far. Like, girl, let's hope you don't drink any red wine. <laughs> That red sparkly jacket is coming from top fake look. These boys can dance. Like, I take back any words of disappointment from that pre-release video. Like, these boys are proving me wrong. Oh, gallery scene. I think it's really cool that they're like reusing the same kind of like set. I've not seen that before in a music video, so. I think Jackson is still my bias. I'm really loving the song. It's very sexy. He says something. Why do I always turn into a thirst trap? At least I'm not a bit as bad as my watching the guy video. <laughs> okay, this is also a favourite look. Like, when I pull up all of my favourite looks at the end of this video, I'm just going to be pulling up pretty much every single look like all of the embellished looks are just fucking incredible like here i am wearing the same blazer i've worn like in every fucking video boys shams your wardrobe with me please <laughs> What's going on? oh my god yes. 
I like the fact they're all wearing the same colour, but it's in totally different ways. Like, the looks match in a sense and a vibe, but they're not, like, twinning. Do you know what I mean? I totally take back what I said in my last video. This is fucking sick. I'm liking the kind of like rock vibe as well, and they're like fucking throwing themselves around. Like, it's sick. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed, like, in my breath video, I didn't realise it was a pre-release, I didn't realise it's a more chilled release, so I was like, where's the dancing, where's the choreo, oh, I'm really disappointed, but I need to eat my hat, I've eaten my words, like, that was so impressive, the choreo was so great, I like the fact there was, like, a mix of music styles in there with, like, the sexy, like, pop vibe, and then it goes into, like, the rock, the choreo changes, and I like the fact that the looks look like they're from the same collection, but they're not identical. Do you know what I mean? Each member's got their own personality and style, which I really respect. Why does the sun have to come out now? Like, it's really annoying. Like, the light is really annoying. So out of all of these embellished looks, the look in the middle with the sweatshirt, the embellishment going across, and the hat, that is definitely my fave look from this scene. Followed closely by the embellished trousers, like, they're beautiful, but to dance in them, fuck me, that must have been the worst ever. <laughs> yeah, this jumper is definitely one of my favourite looks from this video. The detail you can see in this clip, where he's moved around and you've got, like, the strap detail in the back, it doesn't look like it's maybe an attached piece, or the strap is, like, an extra detail to make it look more like a harness kind of thing, but it's just so fucking cool i want it give it to me this white suit but i think it's mark who's wearing it hands down my favorite look from this video like it's just so sleek so sharp like the sash detail the way the jacket crosses over it reminds me of dior i don't think it is dior but i feel sloppy with right now compared to this this man Mark. And my final favourite look, I think Bam Bam's wearing it. It's out of all of the red outfits. He's got like, this military vibe going on, but it's like a little bit of sparkle in there. You know I'm gonna fucking love that shit. Like, <laughs> like, sorry, how can you just not love the outfit with the dancing as well? Like, it's kind of like punky with the fucking bright red hair, the military vibe, it's glistening, it's glittery, like, that is perfection in my eyes. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments what your favourite looks from the GOT7 last piece video is. GOT7 has definitely made me eat my words. I'm super impressed. The choreo, the looks, the song, fucking incredible. And you know, I've definitely eaten my words from my breath reaction. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a little card linked here for you. But you know, I'm learning. I didn't know what a pre-release was. I didn't know there was a pre-release, a main release, but I do now. And the main release has everything I love about K-pop. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.